Dimelo, Dimelo, Bo Dominican York. What's going on, my peoples? Man, I've put this video off for long enough. Uh, I know I've been spacing them out so I can do just one a week. Uh, one UA a week, one retail a week. Um, anyway, what I got in hand today, my good peoples, is a Mr. Hugh Jordan 1 Hyper Royal versus a retail. Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. What do you think, guys? What do you think? I do see a little bit of difference. But that difference may be difficult for majority of the people. I see the... Uh... Here, let's just do this. That toe strap is wider and thicker on the Hue Batch. This is an LJR. Um, but if I didn't have this in hand, I wouldn't know about the thickness of that strap. Toe box looks pretty good as well. Let's go to the stars. Slight color difference. On camera, there's a slight color difference, I think, of the two outsoles. But in person, I don't see it. In person, I don't see it. Again, you may not like that there are differences between the retail and the Mr. Hugh LJR batch, but I'm not surprised. When do you ever really, I mean, I didn't expect exact one-to-one. -one. And even when you do one-to-one, -one, there are differences. Now the retail is a size nine and the Mr. Hugh is a nine and a half. I love that, that. I'm just kind of checking out the stitching between the two. Again, the retail this time is on my left. All right, so the retail that time was on my left. Now I put it back on my right. Oh, let's go to the heel. The retail is this one on the left. You can see some differences, but this is so good. And I haven't done the black light to it yet, so, uh, Let's see, out of over 10, maybe 15, a little over 15 shoes that I've ordered from Mr. Hugh, not one has had guidelines. Will be. Will this be the first time? And this is retail on the left. Mr. Hugh LJR batch on the right. I think the fidelity of the retail is a little bit better. And I think the blue pops a little more on camera and in person. This uh, Mr. Hugh is a little more washed than this blue. It's a richer blue. That's... Honestly, this is not an easy uh, film for me. This is a difficult uh, filming obligation here. But I just wanted to do a quick comparison. Let's do the black light on the hue shoe first. Not the best toe box in the world, but I'm happy with it. I'm gonna rock this shoe. 
It is so much better than my first. Um, no guidelines anywhere. It is so much better than my first, which has a stamp and has guidelines. Check out the other shoe. Pretty sure it's not going to have anything as well. Glue marks where the rubber, where the shoe meets the, the sole. Other than that, super clean shoe. Super clean shoe. The retails. Retails had a little bit of stitching coming out. That's what that is. I need to compare the jump bands. So again, they really are a 9 out of 10. The shoes are a 9 out of 10. If you're looking for a great quality Jordan 1 Hyper Royal, Mr. Hugh won't let you down. If you do have a toe box Nazi, you may have somebody try to tell you something, but these toe boxes can happen with anybody. Oh, I know. I know why I bought it. Because when you look, and this is why I did this. Look at the swoosh. The swoosh has tumbling. I noticed that my first UA, my first fake, doesn't. In the pictures, it looked like you, like Mr. Hughes' LJR batch had tumbling, but upon receiving them, they do not. Now, I do still like the overall shoe, 100%. Look at that wing. I think the retail wing is a little bigger. The retail wing is, a, that's the, this is a retail shoe with the tumbling on the swoosh. I think it's a little bit bigger. But, again, they're not identical, and that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and give Mr. Hugh the squish test. Good. Some squeeze. No bend. Let that out. Let's try the retail. Some squeeze. No bend. And the squeeze was stiffer. Then the LJR Hyper Royal. We'll leave that out. Hyper Royal laces. Let's see how these Hyper Royal laces look. The bags look great. The shoelaces look great. It's not going to get much closer than that, guys, than these two. Maybe the hue is a shade darker. Sorry if I'm not getting the best angle or view at that. So this is really my first rep first retail. This is my first rep versus retail. And I think I'm doing a muck up job of it. I think I'm, I'm, I'm mucking it up. So natural size of nine and a half. Uh, again, I have been starting to buy stuff in a size nine just to have a snug foot, but nine and a half on these, uh, September 20 through November 20. Let's see what the hue date is. These I bought a half size smaller, size nine, September 20 through November 20. Perfect, perfect. 
So guys, really the only two gigs so far are that the toe strap on this specific pair is a little thick and then the swoosh is not tumbled like the retail. That insole is not coming out on the Mr. Hugh pair. Oh, and neither is this retail pair. Neither is the retail pair. But Mr. Hugh did a great job. LJR did a great job. Let's go to the uh, Nike tongue tags. Again, I think that on this, we're seeing again that the Nike fidelity and richness of the blue is darker and sharper on the retail versus the Mr. Hugh, which also has a little bit of a curve. You can see it kind of pulling on the tongue on the top. But amazing shoe guys let me uh take a quick look to see if i've got and i know i've done the videos and the tiktok but this is the mr hugh give me one second one c Guys, I'm bringing this other shoe out. This is the, the one I'm, I'm uh, about to pull out on camera. It is the first, an early UA that I have, one of the earlier UAs. And it is from, I think, StockX Shoes. Uh, I liked it when I first got it. And then I put the black light on it. Look at the stamp. I'm trying to remember. Outsole's good, it's not too squeezable, but look at the shoelace it came with. It didn't come with Hyper Royal. It came with a, a UNC lace. Let's double check to see if the dates are the same as these. 920 through 1120. Well, the dates are the same, but let's compare the color to the Mr. Hue, and you see that the blue is more uniform not as distressed the toe box is better the strap so this is an anomaly i don't think that this is a regular for mr hugh or the ljr batch i think that that may be an anomaly but actually it doesn't look bad one to one it looks bad when you compare it side to side with another one that doesn't have a thick toe strap um but then when i put this on the retail in person this looks green and not as blue as the retail on camera the colors do look slightly different i wish this uh, next time i'm not gonna have the blinds facing down and the sun coming in like that i need to put a freaking dark shade in here but uh i don't know if that picks up on camera correctly maybe if i switch out the color i know they're away from a little bit further away, you see the difference in the color. You can see the difference in the color. There's the retail. There's the Mr. Hugh. There's the budget batch. And it's, it wasn't even budget. I still paid, a, you know, 100, over 100 bucks. But there is a batch that really, I was pissed off that one, it has the stamp. And then I can tell now that it's a little green and not as blue as the retail and not as good as the ljr match mr hugh i would call these uh tier one and this like a tier two tier two because there are more budget batches of that but let's put the retails back guys this really is to highlight the ljr um Jordan 1 Hyper Royal, which is a good choice in my opinion, and that is my opinion, and I don't condone the buying and selling of reps, and definitely don't sell reps as retail. That is a dirtbag thing to do. Uh, I know this video has been all over the place. Thank you for hanging out with me. I've not been feeling my best today. Uh, worked all week, uh, did a lot of great things at work, learning a lot of new things, and uh, I think my brain is wiped. And that's why I probably haven't been putting out as many videos, even though I also have been making sure that I wanted to space out 
uh, my videos so that way I don't run out of shoes, out of UAs specifically to review because I don't run out of retails. I've got retails all day. I've got a lot of new cops that I haven't videoed yet. Uh, on the retail side and, and these are all you know GRs they're general releases but I do cop a lot of general release and yesterday I surprised myself uh, or I was pleasantly surprised when I found out that I hit on uh, champs I hit on champs for the uh, 72 and 10 lows it is the 72 and 10 right I always forget the name um I saw them sitting on undefeated yesterday morning and I didn't pull the trigger or Saturday morning and I didn't pull the trigger, but I thought if I buy it, I know I'm going to hit on the apps. And then of course I was still planning to go for it on the Nike app, but, uh, this is the retail and I did have the retail. Uh, I won on sneakers app and then I sold it and I bought it back again. Glad to have it back. Should I rock my retails, but just rock my uh, Mr. Hughes and keep the retails DS? I do need another pair of retails, but uh, I think that the Mr. Hugh, which is the one on the bottom, is as close to perfect as about you're going to get from anybody. I would like to try a pair from Mux or maybe from Kicks for Days, maybe even Kick Who, but... Uh, I know that this first one didn't cut it. Uh, and people love the TikTok video of it. I did two or three TikTok videos and, of course, the uh, review. But I think this Mr. Hugh definitely takes the cake. It's closer in color matching. Uh, the swoosh is better, even though it's not perfect. Um, I think I did great. I'm happy with the shoe. Uh, I do go got other stuff in stock. If you do appreciate the channel and I want to thank you guys. I'm up to 399 subscribers. Um, it's been a year long trip so far. I'm going to continue to push on. I want to thank everybody who watches these videos. Subscribe, hit the like button, uh, hit the notifications tab if you want to find out next time I put out a video, which is going to be next Saturday or Sunday. Um, and then uh, I love hanging out with you guys. I love getting the chance to speak with you guys. Um, I love it when you guys leave comments because then I can get back to you. Um, I do share more information on Instagram. If you hit me up at Rivera.bo, again, at Rivera.bo on Instagram, that's where I can share more information on all of the UA uh, stuff that I talk about and review and even share information on where to get some retail steals uh, because I do believe big in retail steals um i have come up on a lot of shoes just like i'm sure all of you have uh, and if you haven't that's when you can reach out to me and i can give you a little bit of heads up of what i think some of the retail steals are are out there a bunch of gs dunks uh for steel um the, a lot of little things here and there jordan ones right now are a steal but Again, the market on those is not going to climb up anytime soon. So you got to think long term. But uh, if you enjoy sneakers, this is the channel for you. Uh, it's really raw, live and uncut. As soon as I film, I post. Um, this is the Mr. Hugh Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. I think it's a great shoe. It's a 9 out of 10. Fits true to size. This is the LJR batch. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. Que Dios te bendiga. And you know what? Almost forgot. Let's go to the box. Got the Mr. Hughes. My natural size of nine and a half. Jordan 1. Metro High OG. Hyper Royal White. If don't remember, it does have a stamp on the top. Good to go there. And you've got your normal tissue paper. Let's see what the retail box looks like. been a long video guys i'm approaching 20 minutes air jordan air jordan one retro high og 555088 same number 402 hyper royal white this one does have a green and white sticker in it this is the retail box guys this is the retail box does have the green and white sticker the paper is a little lighter and there's your stamp 
the the retail does have the green and white sticker i got them here locally at a shop in durham north carolina but i want to thank you guys again for hanging out with me sorry that i came back late with the box but i wanted you guys to see that because some people do want to uh but again this is the uh, Mr. Hugh Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. I just got these recently. He ships quick. I've ordered shoes before this one that haven't arrived yet. And Mr. Hugh has delivered. No guidelines. True to size. 9 out of 10. You can't go wrong. I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me. Bo Dominican York. Que Dios te bendiga. Peace.